Welcome to this Saturday's travel and history tip, and we will be completing our visit to the Vermont Marble Company in Proctor, Vermont, and I will simply pick up where I left off. The museum was filled with other uplifting projects like how they produced marble tabletops. Many of you might have beautiful marble tabletops if you can afford them in your kitchen or dining room. There's also a display on what is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is found naturally throughout the world, most commonly as mineral calcite in the form of chalk, limestone, and marble. It is estimated that 4% of the Earth's crust is made of calcium carbonate. Due to its abundance in physical and chemical properties, the use of calcium carbonate has evolved. I'm telling you, please pay attention when you go to these places how much they throw that word in. It hasn't evolved. It has been used to make the ancient stones used to make the Egyptian pyramids to the modern day building blocks of numerous everyday consumer products. And then they have a display and information on coring and then the endless applications and countless benefits. And in this corner, it was sort of interesting. They had different products that have calcium carbonate in it from pharmaceuticals to food groups to paint, to paper. All of these household products have calcium carbonate. Very interesting. Then we wandered into the old factory area where there was a sculpture and many photographs of what this room looked like when it was being used. This was so awesome to see. By looking at the pictures, you can just imagine the noise and the work and the sweat and the hard work that occurred in these rooms. And again, more photographs of the process of carving this beautiful Vermont marble. They also had a room that was uh, on the mineralogy and geology, and it was pretty evolutionary. Just a good uh, way to sharpen up on your creation skills by reading these signs and knowing how to refute them. At cute rocks, I know many of you have gone to parks and seen where people paint rocks, and I think all of us as parents or as children have painted rocks. We have a few that we painted uh, when Paul was much younger. We have ones that like chocolate chip cookies and strawberries and pickles. It's just a whole lot of fun to paint rocks. And of course, the fluorescent rocks, those are always really really cool to see. And they had a chapel, a Vermont marble chapel, completely made of marble. There were many, many displays, and we're not going to show all of them here, of uh, beautiful bathroom designs where the beautiful Vermont marble can be used. One of the other things that they had was that the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial in the Republic of China stands as an impressive testimonial to the unsurpassed engineering, production, and delivery capabilities of Vermont Marble Company today. That's interesting. And then, of course, signs on the geology of Vermont marble. What is marble anyway? Geologically, the term marble is applied to rocks consisting of crystalline grains of mineral calcite and or dolomite. This definition classes marble as a metamorphic rock resulting from the recrystallization of limestone. Commercially, the term marble is commonly applied to all calcareous rock of a similar hardness that can be polished. Furthermore, some serpentine rocks, Vermont Verde Antique, largely of silicate composition, are also classified as marbles. Maybe in one of these Saturday Travel and History Tips, we will take you to the dolomite mine outside of Lone Pine, California. And then they talk about how marble was formed. Of course, it's from an evolutionary viewpoint. We know that it was formed as a result of the Great Flood. And then more signs on coloring and veining, explaining the different marble. And again, this information, for the most part, is factual, but it's when they talk about the timing and input evolution that we know that that part of the story is incorrect. They have a room where they are working on marble, but on that day, the artist wasn't in his studio. Or she. Not sure which it is. After leaving the museum, we drove out to the quarry, but that you are not allowed onto the property as is understandable. But it's cool because in the parking lot, there's just all this granite just protruding through. Up here in northern New England, granite is just popping out everywhere. The process. Amya's processing facility in Florence, Vermont, provides the highest quality calcium carbonate. Marble ore is crushed and milled into products of various particle sizes and offered in dry powder or slurry. Powder combined with water forms depending on customer needs. The finished product is packaged and shipped to our customers throughout North America and other global markets by truck, rail, and barge. So today, a lot of the coring in the process is for the products, as I mentioned earlier, and not for actually the marble that is used in buildings, although I'm sure they do that for special projects. And here are some old pictures of these blocks of marble. And don't forget, before you leave the museum, to get your free piece of Vermont marble. American history. Learn it. Love it. Appreciate it. Don't let them steal our history. 
treasure our American history. Don't let them steal our country. Don't let them steal our family. Pay attention. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you appreciate these videos, you can do two things. Share our content with others and repost on your social platform. And if you can partner with us on a monthly or one-time basis, that is greatly appreciated. Thank you.